What's up, everybody? Nokia's back here for another movie review. This movie review is for the movie The Belko Experiment. Now, The Belko Experiment is about... I don't know. Okay. This movie takes place in an office building. You don't really know what they do. They pretty much make calls, and that's all you see. Um, and then someone comes over the intercom and says... We need you to kill this amount of people. The first time, it's two in the next 30 minutes. And then they have to kill 30. They have to kill 30 within the next two hours. And if they don't, then they are going to uh, kill 60 of them. There's 80 people in the building. So it's them just killing themselves, try or killing people, just trying to get, just trying to get, um, to live. This was a very violent film. I was not expecting it to be this out there. This film does. It, it caught me off guard a couple times. Uh, people's heads explode. I was not expecting head explosions. I was expecting. Some shootings, like always, stabbings. I didn't expect an axe. And this is labeled as an action horror movie. I would say this is more of an action thriller. Suspense action thriller. Because you don't know who is going to die and who is going to live. But I'm not going to ruin the ending for you, but it was a good way to end it. Let's just say you may have seen it coming if you've seen a movie like this. But like on the Blu-ray cover, it said Office Space. It said Office Space meets Battle Royale. I agree. Now, there is a downfall with the movie, and that's that it doesn't have the best script in the world. The screenplay isn't that... <sighs> they did a good job with it, but just some of the dialogue. Some of the dialogue in the movie was just a little bit eh. But that's just a very small complaint. And you don't need much character development. I mean, they're not trying to get you to feel for any, any of the characters. Except for a couple of them. And... You kind of do, you kind of do, but you don't need to care for the characters. You just came here to see who's going to die. It's like the Final Destination movies. You went there to see the deaths. And it's like with the Saw movies, you went there to see the deaths. As you will go and see Jigsaw, which is the new uh, Saw movie. Which I thought was called Saw Legacy, but apparently not. But I'm going to give the Belko Experiment a B. It is a good film that I think I might watch again someday. I might pick up the Blu-ray or the DVD if I find it for a cheap price. $5 or under. Actually, once it goes to $7.99 at Family Video, I'll pick it up. But that's not my last movie review for you guys tonight. I think I might have one more. I don't quite know, but I'm going to try and get through this one, and that is Train Spotting 2, T2 Train Spotting. I think it's about Ewan McGregor's character going back to Scotland, and his buddies are still doing drugs, they get him back in the drugs, I think, I think so, but... Then, if I'm not tired, I can do another hour and 15 after this movie, I think. This is an hour 50, then an hour 15, so three hours and five minutes of film. I think I can do it. So, that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm so sorry, but you clicked on this type of thing. But if you did, please like the video, leave a little comment down below, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.